Okay, for quite some time now, I have been on a search for the perfect waterproof case for my smartphone. In this video, we're going to take a look at a waterproof case and a couple of other ones from the folks at CDO. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, I don't know about you, but I am a slave to technology these days, it seems like, and just kind of don't go anywhere without my smartphone. It's just, it's got so much use to me now. But not only am I a scoutmaster, but I'm also a plumber. So I spend a lot of time around water. And so having a waterproof case is pretty important to me. I've tried a couple of others on the channel here. I've tried the life proof case, the uh, survivor case from folks, I think it's Griffin. And today we're going to take a look at one from the folks at CDO, which was recommended to me by a viewer. And I also got a couple of other cool cases from CDO to show you along the way. But this is the primary one we're going to be looking at. And this is the CDO. Obex and it comes in a lot of different colors if you don't like the bright obnoxious yellow I do because it makes it easy to find in the woods But anyway the folks at CDO were kind enough to send me a couple of their cases so I could test them out and show them to you And so that's what we're gonna do. So let me take you down the old stump top And we'll talk about the pros and cons of the CDO Obex and a couple of others. Here is the CDO Obex case. This case is 100% waterproof has an IPX68 rating. I can tell you that I tested this and it, it does fine. I, I kept it underwater for probably two or three hours and no, no leakage whatsoever. So I can attest to the fact that the waterproof functions work just fine. It's also military rated drop protection certified up to six feet. And, and again, um, I bounced it a few times on accident and it's, it's held up fine. My phone's still working. So it has a sealed screen protector, which protects against dust, dirt, and grime, but it still maintains your touch ID functionality. It has a patented sound tunneling technology um, to, to maintain your device sound quality. I've not had any issues with sound quality on phone calls or anything else with this. And then it is a two-piece click-together technology, which I really like also. And we'll talk about that in just a minute too. Basically, it's got the... Uh, rubberized and you have a volume controls here and there and these work very good no problems with those i've had a couple problems with the volume controls on one of the other cases the uh the mute switch though we'll talk about that the mute switch i've got a little issue with and it's probably my fault but we'll talk about that and then you know you've got your own off switch on the side here the water seal on the charging port in the headphones is accomplished by just a pressure fit plug um, so and it's it's fastened to the to the phone case on the bottom like so so is connected but then it's got a just a pressure fit plug here for for the charging port and it fits in there very tightly and then a pressure fit plug for the headphone jack now if you want to use the headphone and still maintain a waterproof ability uh, they, it comes with a little headphone jack that has an o-ring on it here a very small o-ring that, that just fits in there and it plugs in very tightly like that so now you got you got a little, a little pigtail here that you can connect your headphone to and still maintain the waterproofness of this i you know if you're doing some kind of water sports or boating or whatever just in case so anyway that comes with it with the obex case so let's show you how this thing comes apart it's got a little slot here on it it just pops right apart and Something I do really like, oh, something I really like about this case is it doesn't have like a, a separate O-ring. If you look, this is my life proof case, and you see that green thing there, that's the O-ring that, that is almost impossible to get to stay in the little groove when you're putting this case back together. So uh, that's that's the one really downside I've got to this one. So, but this is actually accomplishes it with a, with a captured seal here, so it's all captured in there, and it just snaps together really well. And basically, it just snaps here like so pops together nice and good I can tell you that I've had this thing apart and back and forth from messing with the phone too many times and the reason I say too many times is because if you look right there if you can see that see can you see right there that's the uh, that's the switch for your for your mute mute button right and it's just got a little rubber rubber toggle here but on the inside what it did have was a can you see that? Yeah, what it did have was a little plastic piece that really engaged very well with the toggle switch on an iPhone, which is a little small switch. Sometime amongst my back and forth, taking in and out, taking in and out, apparently that thing has come out and I've lost it. Now the toggle switch does not work at all. It just does not engage. I try pushing in, moving it. It just, I can't make it work. So that's a downside for me. Um, if that thing were, it, it works really, really well, but if you lose that little piece of plastic, it doesn't work at all. At least mine doesn't. So that is the one downside I could say about the uh, the design construction of it. 
The other thing I'll say is like many cases, just like the LifeProof case and some of the other ones, the charging port on this thing is not big enough to accommodate many aftermarket charging cables. Like I've got a really nice cable from Anchor. It's a Kevlar cable. It's like 15 feet long. It won't fit in here. Um, I know you can whittle them down and all that, but um, so you have to really watch that if, if you're buying a cable to make sure that if you don't want to have to mess and adapt the cable that you, that you check it and make sure. A genuine Apple factory cable fits in there fine. A couple of others I've got fit in there fine, um, but a lot of them don't. So that's the other thing to be aware of on, on this and, and actually many other aftermarket cases. So anyway, that is the, uh, that's the Obex. And I've been using this thing for a couple of months now. I've been carrying it around. They were kind enough to send it to me and uh, I have been really, really testing it out. And I have to say, I really like it. Again, it comes in several different colors. It's a little bigger than the LifeProof, if you can see that. Just, just slightly, but it, but it's not too big to fit in the phone pocket of my True Spec 24/7 Ascent pants, so I'm good with that. And again, it just works just fine. The camera does fine. It doesn't doesn't have any blockage on the camera. The audio works fine. The touchscreen works fine. The only thing I was going to say about that earlier is, as far as the touchscreen goes, it does actually protrude in just a little bit more and does cover up just a very outer edge of the uh, screen. So sometimes on like a game you might be playing, if you really need that that space, it might be in your way if you play games on your phone. That's the only thing I could think of, but really it wasn't, it's not been an issue for me, but I didn't want to point that out. And so this Obex is like 70 bucks. For another 10 bucks, you can get this, this belt holster if you like belt holsters. And basically you put your phone in face first and it just clicks in. And what's cool about this is it has a lock. You can lock this thing where it won't come out and you can't get it out without unlocking it. So it's not gonna get, it's not gonna get caught on something. Your phone's not gonna get pop, popped out, which I think is a good feature for a belt clip. And you can unlock it very easily. And if you need to get your phone out, you just push down one hand and open it up and it comes right out. And it also has a rotating, a rotating clip that you can carry it. You can unlock it, carry it at different angles, whatever you want to, all the way to there. So you can go either orientation. So pretty good there and just um, again snap it in works really well so that's the obex and the um, optional belt holster okay there's a couple of other cases i want to show you though first of all this is the surface case you'll notice this is in the crazily popular cryptek pattern it's available in four different colors from the cryptek and it's pretty cool this one does not have a screen cover i think you can buy an optional screen cover but what this does give you is a very thin case it's got a tpe liner and you pop the, the, the liner on here like so and then you can put slides into your Cryptek and you slide the back on like so and it just snaps together like that and, and then you got a cool looking case and what's really cool about this one is um, it does not obviously it's not waterproof so you can get to the switch really easy it works and then your buttons work really well um, and there's nothing to to uh, obscure anything you can use whatever kind of charger you want on it but something that's really cool about this it's got a magnetic stand on back of it so you can stand it up if you like to watch little videos like youtube videos or whatever on your phone you can stand it up and then it's, it's actually magnetic it just pops back in and holds it there and you need to access it just pop it open pretty cool you can also see in here the little honeycomb pattern if you can see that and they're calling that hex guard technology which just provides a little bit extra cushion there for the uh, phone the last thing i want to show you is it's just an additional uh, impact protection this is the convert and it's, a, it's, it's basically allows you to put your other case inside of it. So you've, now you've got some really super robust protection, but it still allows you access to the stand if you want to use the stand um, like so. It just, gives you an, it just gives you extra, extra padding and without a whole lot of extra size. And then this one has a, uh, let's turn it on, see how well the switch works on this one. Okay, and so the, the selector switch is actually working just fine on this one, so that's always a good thing because that it may not be a big deal to you, but the, but the, uh, the vibrate or, or mute switch is really important to me because there's times when you just want to be able to silence your phone very simply. You know, I don't want to be that guy in church where right in the middle of a sermon is some my phone's making all kinds of rackets. So anyway, that is some really cool cases from the folks at CDO. Chug Norris is what Willis was talking about. I gotta tell you, these are cool, the Cryptek's cool. Um, if I had to pick one of these, it's gonna be the Obex because it is waterproof. Um, and honestly, the only issue I really had with this was the little little piece of plastic um, getting lost from the mute switch 
And honestly, if you're not taking your phone in and out of the case a lot like I've been doing for testing, you're probably never going to have an issue with it. it. It was working flawlessly, and then one day I looked at it, it quit working. I noticed that little piece was gone, and I was unable to find it because it is tiny. But for everyday use, once you get your phone in here sealed up, you, you probably don't have to do that again, and it works absolutely perfectly. So therefore, I think so far, this may be my favorite waterproof case of all of them I've tested. Um, it's just, I like the fact that it's got an integrated seal. I like the fact that everything's simple to use. There's no plugs to screw out and, and, and lose. You know, the life proof had a little plug on it that had a tether, but it goes away. And it's um, just very handy. And it comes in a lot of cool colors. So another, oh, another thing I really like is the back of the case has got just some little rubberized strips on it. So when you lay your phone down on like your dash or whatever, it doesn't slide all over the place. It just keeps it from sliding, which I think is just a, Again, just another little cool feature, attention to detail. So, there you go. Okay, well that was a quick but somewhat rambling look at a couple of different phone cases from folks at CDO. Oh, and they did tell me that they're working on getting a Cryptek pattern for the Obex. Um, anytime you deal with those, those kind of um, proprietary camouflage patterns, there's licensing fees and all sorts of legal stuff you gotta go through before you can use them. So, but they are working on that. And like I said, I think the other cases are cool, the Cryptek's cool, but, but even without the Cryptek, so far I think this is my favorite waterproof case. I just really like all the features. It's the only one I've found that the, uh, everything here works really well, um, as long as you don't keep taking it apart and losing a little part there. So, and again, I've dropped it too many times. My kids laugh at me all the time saying it's a good thing I got a case. I've tested it in water for way longer than you're supposed to, and it just held up to everything I've thrown at it. Plus, it's just got some pretty cool features. So if you're looking for a really good waterproof, hard-duty case for your phone, and I think they make this for other phones beside the iPhone too, I'll put a link to their website below and you can see what's available. But I have to say the Obex from the folks at CDO is my number one pick right now. So I hope this has been helpful. Once again, thanks to the folks at CDO for sending me these cases so I can show them to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If, if you haven't done so, I would invite you to. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday and usually a couple of other random ones throughout the week. By subscribing, you can be notified whenever one of those videos comes out. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting this channel by doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. And don't forget, you can also support the channel and get a free audiobook download by checking out a free one month trial subscription to audible.com. There'll be a link in the description below. And again, thank you so much for your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time. <laughs>